From downtown Scranton, this is Northeast Current. WQPX invites you to join us as we explore public affairs, current events, and arts and culture in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Now let's meet today's guests on Northeast Current. Welcome back to Northeast Current. I'm here with a member of the cast and the director and producer of the original play, The Messenger. Yes? Yes. Yes. We're very excited. <laughs> How you doing? So it, tell me a little bit about the play. Who is the writer? You're not, neither one of you are the writer of the play, correct? That's, that's right, Katie. The, the playwright is a fellow by the name of Paul Kodiak, mm -hmm. who wrote this back in 1991. And it's had a few productions since. The most recent until now was in, it was this past January, actually, at the Shawnee Playhouse. And I was fortunate enough to be a member of the cast. Oh. And of course, uh, it was the winner of the one act dramatic play competition that was held at the Shawnee Playhouse. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was given a full production last January. And uh, Paul, as I said, has uh, been writing for a number of years and is currently uh, living in, in the Bethlehem area and uh, has had a, a stint in New York as a playwright, award-winning playwright, and is a pretty, pr pretty happy guy that we're doing this again. So is this play award-winning? This actually was a, an award-winning play. As I said, it won the uh, award for the best dramatic one-act play at right. Shawnee. We oh, had, right. Yeah, we had a number of uh, plays that were submitted, and uh, they were all read in uh, stage readings. And some of them were comedies and some of them were uh, dramas. And this one was selected as the best drama. And it was produced, as I said, uh, in January, along with one of the comedies. And at that time, I was so happy to be a part of it that uh, I decided in the back of my mind that I didn't want to see it uh, simply go away. And it has always been my goal to mount another production of it here in uh, Northeast Pennsylvania. So I was just going to ask that. So it's not a comedy, it's a drama. Mm -hmm. Are you playing the same character this Abs time? Absolutely, yes. Father Keating, the priest. Who okay. Was, yeah. And it's a role that uh, uh, I find very challenging and also very re rewarding at the same time. It's a, it's a terrific role. And frankly, I think this is one of the best uh, scripts that I've come across in a long, long time. So what makes it unique? I think what, one of the things that makes it unique, and I know Joe will probably uh, agree with me, this by the way is, uh, is, is Joe DeMuro who plays uh, Jimmy, and uh, I think Joe and I both agree that one of the things that makes it so special is that it's actually a story told in actual time. Oh. It starts uh, on an hour and it ends an hour later, and all the action unfolds within that 60 minute period. and. Uh, that, that's one of the things that makes it exciting. Uh, the other, of course, is the urgency that both of us feel to reach our goals. And his goal is a little different from mine. Mine is very simple. I want his soul to be redeemed. So tell me a little bit about the plot then. Uh, well, it's a story of Jimmy's last hour on death row before he's to be executed. And you're and, Jimmy? Um, I play the part of Jimmy. Okay. Uh, Dante's father Keating comes in to, as he said, get his confession, uh, redeem his soul. Okay. And through it, I mean, you, you really get to discover how everybody's kind of connected and sometimes redemption doesn't come from where you think it's going to come through. Interesting. You know, you, uh, you have these two totally different types of characters who, in a weird way, almost need each other. And it's, it's it, like I said, it's a very powerful piece. It's, it's not your typical play you might see, mm -hmm. you know, like something that's been done a hundred times. It's, I think it's, it's, it's a strong, strong piece. And... Uh, it's almost timeless in a way. Um, you know, it's just, it's gritty, it's real, it's, hmm. it's it, I, it, as soon as I read it, I actually couldn't put it down. I was just skimming through it when he gave me the script. Um, we had met doing another show, and he gave me the script, and he said, I want you to read this, tell me what you think. So I was just kind of leafing through, next thing you know, I couldn't put the script down, I got done with it, I think I sent you a text message that night. You did. Absolutely. Telling you, we have to do this. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, I thought it was just an amazing piece. And, and you the, guys are not the only two in the play, right? We're going to meet. Oh, no. We're going to meet another cast member. Yeah, yeah. yeah a yeah. little bit later, and we'll go a little more in depth into the plot. So tell me, because I've seen you actually made a movie trailer for this. Yeah. Uh, one of the things when I read it was I, I saw this as a film. Uh -huh. I just thought it was being a really a strong piece, and I got the idea um, just to maybe to advertise the play, let's do something different. Let's make trailers for the play, but let's film them as a, 
as if it's a film, as if it's a full-on production, full-feature movie. So I approached Dante with the idea. He just said, kind of was like, go ahead, run with this. Let's see where this goes. Great idea with all the social media. Yeah, so right we, reached, we reached out to some people, and it's just weird how it came together that everybody that ended up getting involved in it, I somehow was connected to with another project. And we brought some guys in from the film community, uh, Woodovic Studios, Ryan and Todd. They came in and filmed, did the sound, did the editing. Uh, Jared Tobin came in and assisted, directed with me. Mm -hmm. um, we basically converted my basement into a prison cell. <laughs> well, that, and I, I just have to say that that was a stroke of genius because if we could find some way to trans, transport that basement to the stage, it uh -huh. would be perfect because it is so, so gritty. So these aren't filmed scenes from the play, no. they're actually yeah, it's, for it's the trailer. Exactly. Lights, sound, camera, action, the whole thing. And, I mean, and it was a full-on production. I mean, it's production quality value. We have right. them on Facebook. Anybody can view them. That's um, a great teaser. Yeah. Uh, the, we have one out already. We have another one coming out. It's a little bit longer, deeper mm -hmm. into the story. Um, and we, there's talk of uh, a local musician may actually do original score for the second one as wow. well. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of different people from the area kind of wanted to get involved in this. And everybody's excited about it. It's nice. It's a nice mix of community, I think. Um, just the way everybody kind of came together. Uh, James, the other cast member, how he kind of got involved. Mm -hmm. It's like a return to theater for him. He's mm -hmm. been doing a lot of film. The way Dante and I met, how he had the script, the way the production guys came in. I'm in another film they're doing, and it just worked out. They were interested in doing this project. How everybody came together is just weird. And that's very interesting, very interesting. So tell me, is there anything else that you're willing to share about the plot? I'm glad you said willing to share, because we don't want to give everything away. Right. But one of the things that I think is fascinating about this play is the fact that it's called The Messenger. And obviously that is a title that's banging around with a couple of movies and so forth. It's a pretty common uh, title, mm -hmm. but in this case it really is very, very important because there's a bit of a role reversal. I will say that, a bit of a role reversal oh. in, this, in this play. And it's uh, one of the things that uh, I think makes it so intriguing and so moving. I think this play has um, all the ingredients of good drama. It's, it has tension, it has pathos, it has, uh, it moves well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in our playing of, the, of our moments, we forget just for that instant that we're racing against time and we become a little bit, and then as soon as we start to get off track and get a little bit too slow or too deliberate or to allow ourselves the, the, the privilege of just kind of basking in our own thoughts, then suddenly Angel comes in and he reminds us the time, and it's, you know, it's right back. And mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to tell you what the fourth character is. No, but you might, now you I want to, I'm, I'm speculating but, but it, madly on what the role reversal is. But could it's be. kind of a red herring, I will tell you that. But the role, the role reversal is very, very interesting. Okay, so we're going to meet James in a minute, and while we're waiting, let's take a look at the trailer. He's on his way up again, you know. You been reading your Bible? How does it feel? I mean, really, how does it feel? Being where you are, knowing what you know, all alone. You're here for a reason. Who's got more time left now? Okay, so I'm totally convinced. Where is it going to be and how do we get tickets to go? All right. Well, we're going <laughs> to be doing this at the Phoenix Theater in Durier. Uh -huh. And there is a phone number that can be called. Okay. That number is 570-457-3589. I'm going to repeat that. 570-457-3589. And that's the Phoenix Theater in Durier. And again, the running date would be the 8th through the 18th of November. Of November. Right. Okay. 
Uh, and and you're going to be selling tickets ahead of time. Yeah, you can call and make just reservations. Just, at that just number. call that mm -hmm. number, and uh, you can I'm also sure. buy them at the door. You do run a risk if we do sell out. Right, of yeah. course. You never know. Yeah, it's better, you know, to be sure because for some people it may be a little bit of a distance. I don't know, but it's. Uh, it's a wonderful little yeah, theater. Yeah, and, and, and this has created a buzz. I've heard you've done a lot of good PR for it. Yeah, really trying to get the word out. Um, just because, at number one, I think it's a really strong piece. Number two, just the idea with, with like the trailers and getting different types of people, different backgrounds involved in, in a play. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it, this is this is technically a community theater play in a way, but I mean, we did this totally professional from the ground up, like all the way across the board. Even like the photos we're releasing for the press and everything else, like everything is. I, I prefer first class. class. Yeah. First class. And this is your own production company, Jonah? Jonah Production is my company, and I, form, I formed it when I was in New York. Mm -hmm. Did a couple of productions in New York. Um, one of them uh, was very well received. Uh, it was uh, Seamarks, and I did that uh, a number of years ago. And then the second one was a wonderful piece as well, but as you know, in New York, it's th the whole thing is to get people to come and see it. So the first <laughs> one was well attended, and the second one wasn't. So we have hopes that with James's wonderful talent for promotion, that we're going to have plenty oh, of people. Joe, did I? What did I call him? <laughs> James. Oh my God. <laughs> Joe. It's a, it's a good segue. We're uh, going to be yeah. meeting Maybe, James. Yes, I'm thinking about him. We're trying to get him into it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe, but but anyway, he's Joe D. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to mention one other thing. There is a fourth character that you will not oh. meet until you come to the theater. Okay. And it, and it is uh, kind of uh, something that drives the whole play. Interesting. And it has to do with the passage of time and the fact that that is our, our real nemesis, our real obstacle is overcoming time. And it becomes the fourth character in the play. So that might be something that will stimulate folks to want to come and see it, to figure Very out how. interesting. The real time, as Joe's, Joe said, absolutely uh, makes this thing <laughs> very, very special, a very unique pr uh, production. It's done in real time. Well, I'm excited to hear more, and we're going to meet James after mm -hmm. the break, and we'll see you after that. We'll, and we'll have James here. Mm -hmm.